Hello, everyone. Here we are back at the History Corner with Greg Woolley. Um, it's just a couple days before Corpus Christi Sunday, which means the body of Christ. So um, it's a celebration of Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. Um, we have First Communion this Sunday. So a very, very special time when our, when our um, young ones are going to be receiving Christ for the first time. So Greg's going to talk a little bit about a window here that has a lot to do with both of those things. Greg. Hi. Uh, yes, this is one of our gems here at St. Joseph's. This window was uh, the gift of all the first communicants from 1868 to 1893. And back then that would have been just giving pennies every so often to the fund. And they were raising the money because the new church was going to be dedicated in October of 1893. This window is the only thing in the church that was not here the day of the dedication because it was in Chicago at the World's Fair. There was a fair to mark the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus and America. So the, the window was brought back later. But there had to have been uh, approximately a thousand students uh, between 1868 and 1893. Unfortunately, we do not have the book with a list of these children's names, but we do have the confirmation names uh, for some of those years, and they would have received First Communion probably one day, and maybe the next day or a week later, they would have received confirmation from the bishop. Uh, the, this window re represents the uh, Last Supper, which Jerome said uh, symbolizes the Feast of Corpus Christi, Body of Christ, and if you look at the window, you can see uh, our Lord giving communion looks like St. Peter to me right by him and then St. John and the others you have to kind of guess except for Judas because you can see him scurrying out in the background uh, after he's going to go betray Jesus. Uh, at the top of the window you see two of the evangelists. You see uh, Matthew and uh, you see St. Mark who happens to be my favorite. But uh, the uh, window was brought then later and put into the church and uh, the colors are bright and vibrant and this is so appropriate for this Sunday because as Jerome said it's not just the Feast of Corpus Christi but it's the uh, First Communion Sunday. Normally that would have been in May but this year with the virus it, uh, we chose this date that's so appropriate for the children and so uh, to remember all the children that gave this window and ask, uh, we ask their prayers for the children that are going to make First Communion this Sunday also. So thank you. So when you come into the church, stand here and look at it. It's a, ma a masterpiece. Yeah, Greg, just real quickly, can we get closer up to the window? And then I wonder if we can point out real quick just some of those elements you just talked about. Um, is it all the way on the left there in the blue that I'm that seeing is, Judas? That is Judas taking his uh, way to... Uh, betray Jesus and then you right. see our Lord holding the chalice he is just he's giving them their first communion and his body and blood and I just presume that is Peter with him because Peter the head of the Apostles right so Peter would be the one in green, green. right by Jesus green. there and then to the, to the little to the uh, uh, left of Peter I presume that's John John's always shown as a younger boy with no beard uh, and the others we have to kind of just surmise. Right, so John might be the one in blue there. Right. Yes. Right. Um, uh, to us, it looks like John is to the right. Uh, on the window, he's to the right, right of Peter there. And then above Peter's head, you have the, uh, the uh, ch uh, chandelier, but it has three flames, and that could represent the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Right. Now that we're this close, you can actually see the inscription um, down near the bottom of the window, first communicants uh, from 1868 to 1893. You can actually see that inscription. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Greg. This is, this is awesome. I do hope everyone takes a look at this window when you come in church. And remember the history that, that, that went into this window, um, not only at this parish, but then you can think about the history of the church that it depicts as well. And then we have sort of a, a lineage there too, right? Right. Um, and if you can identify the other apostles, I'll say a rosary for you. <laughs> All right. All right. See you next time at the History Corner. Okay. Thank you.